Amazon is absolutely spoiling us with these crazy Super Bowl TV deals. Now, I'm gonna be going through a couple of the best options that I see right now for those of you out there who might be buyers. So smack a like on this video, subscribe if you want more content like this, and with that, let's get started. The first one on the list is going to be the Samsung S95B. Now I know, I know, this TV has had a lot of controversy around it and a lot of people have been really upset about what this TV has basically been turned into after the patches. But I still think that if you're somebody looking for an exceptional picture quality and you don't really have the standards of the day one firmware, it still might be worth looking at and it will save you some money, especially at the current price of $1,397.99 on Amazon. It's pretty much a steal at that price. It's still a darn good TV at that price point and I think most people will be happy with it. Next, we have the LG B2. The LG B2 is probably one of the most slept on TVs of 2022, but coming in at 1297, I believe, for the 65 inch variation, I think you'll have a ton of fun watching the big game on a big display, or rather bigger display than 55 inches, and you get a pretty good price. That's pretty much the everyday price of most 55 inch televisions. So I think you win there. Follow that up with the Sony A90K, not to be confused with the A95K with quantum dots, and then you get another awesome alternative and good deal all around to basically the more expensive options. And I like this particular option on the list because it's a 48 inch for those of you who want something maybe smaller for a desk or maybe a smaller living space that don't always need to go to the most grandiose massive thing out there. We all can't afford to do that. And I think it's beautiful to have options that cater to us as well. So that, for I think everybody for $11.99 is a total win as well. Now, if OLEDs aren't doing it for you and you want something more LED based so you can just avoid the burn and worry altogether, then you can go the route of the Sony X80K and save yourself some money. In my time reviewing it, I had definitely decent picture quality and more than adequate for most people. So I think you'll be happy with it albeit you have to make some compromises with, you know, gray blacks and stuff like that. But again, it's for the person that's not too picky but still wants Sony processing, and that will be awesome at 65 inches for 698 bucks. I don't think you'll find too many better options in the Sony lineup as far as deals currently going on right now. Now, I just want to clarify that these are the Amazon deals that are absolutely spoiling us right now, but that is subject obviously to change as the years go on and as the year goes on. I also want to say that I probably would personally wait if you wanted something bigger or more cutting edge, like Hisense is coming out with mini LED across their entire line. We've got a lot of stuff happening with Sony that we don't even know about yet. We know Samsung is coming out with all kinds of stuff. I mean, I think it's better for you to wait because 2023 specific options will give you way more, you know, lateral movement and what you can do than what these current options from 2022 offer. But if you're somebody who wants a really good TV and you want it at a good price, now's the best time to buy as Super Bowl is going to be one of the big clearance events to make way for the new inventory this coming year. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's a good time to buy or will you personally wait and hold out or stay with what you got? As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later.